Hello and welcome to the Insider and Advanced Threat Detection section of the StealthWatch tutorial series. My name is Drew Bradshaw and I'm a Technical Solutions Architect for Security Analytics at Cisco. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to utilize the alarm category data hoarding to investigate a host within a network that has downloaded an unusual amount of data from one or more servers. These alarms can provide valuable insight into unauthorized data movement that might be taking place in the network. Before we begin, let's review the benefit of using StealthWatch to detect data hoarding violations in your network. Protecting intellectual property is a top priority of CSOs and security teams all around the world. Data breaches cost organizations millions of dollars, along with negative publicity. Insider threats and compromised machines can participate in gathering data with the intention of exfiltrating it for financial gain or just to cause harm. Security teams require a way to identify this type of abnormal behavior as early as possible to mitigate the threat before the data is exfiltrated out of the network. StealthWatch leverages behavioral modeling to establish a baseline for each host. If StealthWatch can see every conversation that a host has on the network, it can learn what is normal and quickly identify behavior that exceeds the normal thresholds. In this exercise, we will simulate an insider attack where the employee in our sales department is leaving the company for a competitor and downloads sensitive data that she wants to take with her. We will start by launching Win SCP from the desktop of Workstation 1, selecting CDS, and noting the IP address that we'll be accessing. Select Login. Next, we want to locate the file Encrypted Customer Database and transfer it to our Downloads folder on Workstation 1. Once this has completed, we will close WinSCP. Now we will log into StealthWatch to see if we were notified of this abnormal file transfer. Launch Chrome, select the SMC Web UI from the Appliances folder on the bookmark bar, log in using the admin credentials. On the Security Insight dashboard, let's look at the data hoarding section under Alarming Hosts. Click the number below data hoarding to open up the current alarm table. In this example, we will click on the number 2. We can see that the data hoarding alarm has far exceeded its threshold for the host in question. We will click on the percentage value to get more details. Clicking into the details will allow us to drill down into the supporting security event. From this security event, we could jump straight into the flows associated with this data hoarding event. But first, let's go to the host summary page for more context about this host. The host summary gives us more information about the host which groups it has recently communicated with and how much, as well as current alarms and a seven-day history of alarms. We can see that this host has passed a large amount of traffic to or from the protected asset monitoring host group. We can launch a flow search of this traffic by clicking on this line and selecting View Flows. The flow search provides us with information such as flow start time, duration, subject and peer IP and group, protocol, bytes, and more. These fields are configurable by clicking the Manage columns and adding the categories that are most relevant to you. Here we can see all of the flow information regarding the file transfer that we initiated. This is a host that is allowed to access the peer system, but has tripped the data hoarding alarm because the amount of data being transferred is unusual compared to the normal baseline. The host being accessed is in the protected asset host group. This host group could be defined with confidential servers, servers containing personally identifiable information, or credit card processors. Segmenting assets allows for greater threat protection. If you're interested in evaluating StealthWatch, sign up for a test drive at cs.co slash stealthwatchtd, or you can learn more at cisco.com slash go stealthwatch. Thanks for watching.